I have a lot of guns. Somebody asked me on Instagram, how many guns do you have? A lot. And about 80% of them don't have a Bravo holster. That's it. That's, and, and that's a fact. Uh, Travis, why don't you make them for all firearms? I've looked and you don't make one for my firearm. Travis, uh, because... <clears throat> because we can't, <laughs> you know, and, 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 no, and, that's, and that's a great question, Travis. I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not taking your question lightly or anything like that. Um, yeah, this is our packaging, our dealer packaging. It's awesome, man. I just love our stuff. I can, I can stare at it all day. Um, yeah, because, you know, we can only make the stuff that, that sells the most. I mean, it's just the way it is. It's business. It, it that's all it is. It's business. It's, it's to the true meaning of that word, it's business. Um, there's a lot of holster makers out there that are running you know, out of their garage or out of, out of their shed, or and, and that's fine. Those guys can sit down and take the time to make a, a holster for your gun. Yeah, bring it over, man, we'll make a mold. We used to do that. Yeah, bring over your gun, man, we'll, you know, we'll use it to, to make the mold. <coughs> we'll heat up the Kydex, we'll sandwich it between the Kydex, and uh, you know, we'll be careful with it, and you know, we'll make the mold with your gun. We can't do that, we can't do that. We go 3.0, full throttle with the polymer holsters because we need to fulfill our orders. And if, and, and, you know, so we can't do it the old fashioned way where it's easy to just pick up any holster or just to pick up any gun and make a holster for it. Now, the other thing is this takes time. This is injection molded. I mean, we have to cut metal. I mean, there's blocks of metal that we have to cut and that takes time and time and effort and all that is money. And so if we decide to make a holster option, we need to make sure that it's gonna move more than the other holster option, right? Because there's, you know, think about it this way. If, if, if this gun type sells more than this gun type, then why are we gonna make a holster for this gun type? Well, you can say, yeah, man, but this gun type also sells. Okay, yeah, we know it sells and we will get to it later. But right now this one sells more, so we gotta make this one. We have to. I mean, that's why the Hellcat is on its way because people are just buying. That's why they. That's why we we did the P365. That's why we're doing the XL because people are buying them, and it's super popular. And manufacturers can't even keep up with a, with a, with the demand, and so we need to look at that and say, all right, we need to make a holster for that gun because it's going to move. Well, you're being selfish. No, we're giving the market what they want. That's it at the end of the day. So when you go out there and you're trying to buy a gun, a firearm, make sure that you can find uh, accessories that are readily available. Don't go out there and buy a firearm. Don't go out there and buy a, a Frem Frem or whatever. I just made that up. And now you're not going to be able to find a holster for it, much less uh, some suppressor sites or whatever, whatever, whatever you want to do. You got to be you got to be careful in what you go out there and buy. You need to make sure that you buy something that there that there are readily available accessories on the market and so we're we're that we're we play by that game we have to play by that rule and so we buy or we make holsters that are popular and that are being sold uh in high volumes to the market that's why the glock 19 will always be number one on our list because they own 66 percent of the market they just do I mean, go check out our video that we did, the rundown video on Glock, 66% of the market. That's how much they own. So if Glock says we're coming out with a Glock 49, we're gonna look at it, man. And if it's something that's concealable, then we're gonna run with it. Now you can say, well, the Glock 42, you haven't made a holster for that. We had it when we used to make Kydex holsters. It didn't sell, it didn't move. The 380 is not a popular round, not compared to the nine millimeter or even the 40 or even the 45. It's not, and so we have to go by what sells. And so it's all that, it's that simple. It's just that our products take time to make, and because they take time to make, we have to be careful on what we choose. And because we, they take time to make, we can't offer all the products under the sun, or we can't offer a holster for every gun type under the sun. Now, if you're just buying blue guns and you're sticking it between Kydex, yeah. Look, you can make an investment on blue guns you can make a thousand dollar investment on blue guns and you can have the most popular gun options out there and plus semi-popular. You can make an investment, you can make a three thousand dollar investment on blue guns and you can probably get all, you can probably get all the firearms other than the really odd ones 
and you can have 300 options, man, because now you have left hand, right hand, you can put a light on it. And so you can have all these options. <laughs> that doesn't even cover half of the cost of one of our molds, not even a third, not even a quarter. Doesn't even cover that. $3,000 on blue guns compared to one mold that costs way more than $3,000. It doesn't cover that. So we have to be careful in our moves. We have to be precise in our moves because now we're leaving money on the table or you're just greedy. No, we're trying to serve the market. That's it. The market speaks, not me, not me. I have a lot of gun holsters. Somebody asked me on Instagram last time, how many, I mean, I have a lot of guns. Somebody asked me on Instagram, how many guns do you have? A lot. And about 80% of them don't have a Bravo holster. That's it. That's, and, and that's a fact because 80% of them don't move as much as the other 20% do. Now, I have, an FN, I have an FNP Tactical 45, the original ones. I love it. It's an awesome gun. I wish I had a Bravo holster. Imagine a FNP holster that looked like this or an FNX Tactical 45 holster that looked like this. Dude, and then you stick that gun in there. It's going to look awesome. I wish we had it, but we don't because that gun is not made for concealed carry and it doesn't sell as much as maybe a Ruger LC9. Ah, man, Ruger stinks, man. Uh, FNP, tact FNX Tactical is a way better gun, man. Yeah, but that's you and your buddies and you're in a bubble with your buddies. That's not what the market thinks. And so we sell gun holsters to the entire market, not just to a niche, not just to these guys over here or not just to the range rats or not just to, you know, we sell them to everyone and they speak as a whole. And that's it, man. That's how we strategize and that's how we pick and choose. And so, you know, I hope I was clear with that. If I come across a little edgy on my answer, it's because I've been asked this so many times and that's fine. Keep asking me because I think it's a great question and I think it's got an answer that can de definitely benefit people, especially people out there that maybe want to start their own business. Um, so I really love the answer to that question. But I also get people that ask harshly, like, hey, man, you guys stink because you don't make this, man. Me and my buddies, we all run CZs. You guys are out of it, man. That's why you guys are going to go broke. And I'm like, dude, you and your buddies are living in a bubble, man. Not CZ is an awesome manufacturer. I have CZs. But to sit there and tell me that, yeah, man, they sell better than than M&Ps and P320s and they sell. No, they don't, man. No, they don't. You and your buddies are wrong there. You may think that, and that's fine. You can think that all day. You you may be a CZ fanboy, or forget CZ. It's some other uh, you you know you a Springfield Armory fanboy. Whatever the case is, that's fine. Canic Canic's a good gun. It's coming up in the game. Yeah, you can be a Canic fanboy. I get it. But if they don't sell, man, we cannot go out there and spend three months on making a holster, spending time and effort when we could have made this holster that sells three times as much. It's not good business. Well, I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. Do it, go somewhere else, guys. We're not, I've, I don't try to hypnotize you like, no, you're not going anywhere. You're gonna wait until we offer the CZ uh, P10 or the P07 or the P01 or, no, we don't do that, man. Go out there, get whatever. We're just telling you this is what we offer and we're working on bringing in more products and that's it. At the end of the day, you find one, awesome, try it. It may not even be for you. You're probably, you, you, if it's not for you, you're gonna send it back and that's fine. But we're just giving the market what they want at the end of the day. So good question, man.